Hey, moron! <laughs> hey, moron! <laughs> look, look, look at me! I'm the woo -woo water boy, dude. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Man, I've been busting ass, because see, that's what the Cowboy Mafia does. We bust ass, you know, besides just here on YouTube, we bust ass on our day jobs, making sure that this country rolls. And I've been literally rolling around on the floor, laying ceramic tile in an 1837 farmhouse. And this morning when I was going through, so here, here's my thing. Here's my thing. You know, it, it's almost common. Let me let me set the whole basis here. Yesterday, I did a video about Cowboys Mafia, okay? I am wearing that like a badge of honor. Cowboys Mafia, okay? Because we got 105.3 The Fan basically kind of kind of disrespecting all of YouTube. Now, I'm not trying to say that we are journalists that we went to school, that we work for television networks and things. But from time to time, we may actually have an idea that might be right, or we might actually know somebody who might give us some information. Or in our own small minds, we may actually come up with ideas and concepts that may be actually right. And from time to time, we definitely bring you better news than what the talking heads do. So this morning, this morning, I was on the way up there and we found out that Dak attack had posted a video about the sexual lawsuit suit is in the process of being dismissed. Now let me set the stage here because here's what happens and it's kind of pisses you off because the, the, the talking heads or the newspapers and all that stuff, when there is bad news, it's front page story. Oh, it's all over the place, okay? I'll give you a great example. Des Bryant, okay? We heard Mike, uh, Mike Ferrello, Fer Furio, Furio, Ferrello, or Lairo, I don't want, care what you want to call it, who came out and he said on 105 The Fan, there might be a tape of Des Bryant that's 10 times worse than Ray Rice. That's literally what he said. And that started off a whole firestorm. Adam Schefter was asked about it, and he said, we've been devoting lots of resources to this for months, and we'll be having a story coming out, not knowing anything about this thing. And in the end, there was never any tape and there was never any retraction. And typically, when there is, of course, bad news and everybody goes up and all that about it, when it's found out that it's wrong or the person gets vindicated, if you were reading a newspaper, but most of you aren't, it's on the back page. It's not big news anymore. So I get accused of being a Dak Prescott fan. I am a Dak Prescott fan. I think Dak Prescott is the best quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. I said it in 2016. I say it today. And if you don't agree with me, that's fine. You know, there's no need for you to come on my channel and tell me I'm an idiot, this, that, and the other. I am free in America to believe what I want to believe. But here's the thing. We heard everybody and their sister going ape crazy about Dak Prescott. Okay, Dak Prescott's lawsuit. He's suing this woman. This woman filed an affidavit. We saw the interviews of this woman. And her attorney, where he literally said Dak Prescott is, I can't remember what it was, but uh, is garbage or something like that. Literally selling the, guy, selling the guy's name. We heard people on 105 The Fan talking about Dak Prescott's being, a, you know, that he is public enema. Public enema number one. And so, shout out to Dak Attack, who has been watching all of the paperwork here from the Dallas County Courts Portal. OK. And he's been sitting on this for a couple of days to see if anybody talks about this. But of course, nobody does. And see, this is where th this is actually perfect. Dak attack. I don't know if you were holding this for for the right day or whatever. You popped put it out there just the right time after kind of, you know, forget about it. You know, the Dak, uh, excuse me, the Cowboys Mafia and things. And talking about that, because here it is. This is actually good news. So let me show you 
what what my buddy actually has here okay so this is the original case this is the casework you can go this this is what's amazing is it's actually not that hard because an idiot like me figured out how to do this because he shared the site with me this is dallas county texas court portal and you can go there all of you talking heads and you can see where this case and stuff goes and since you were so apt to go ahead and put all the original information you should be out there putting the rest of it on and i'm saying shame on you because his video has been out there all day i kind of posted a little earlier about this so victoria shoals on the 3rd of march filed their petition and you can go through here and you can view all the documents and everything in there you can see the original petition and stuff uh go to deck Dak Attack's channel, he will break it down. I'm not an attorney. I don't play one on, on YouTube or anything like that. But I'm just going through what's here. So you have the original document. You can open that sucker up and you can look at that. Especially you guys that are professionals. I'm sure you have an attorney that works for you because you guys have all the bucks. Amended petition. You've got the plaintiff's first amended petition. Then you have an issue citation. Notice of non-suit and non-side proposal order judgment on 4-8 and dismissal for want of prosecution okay so here's the thing if we go to the documents set up for 514 may 14th the above case is set for dismissal of want by of prosecution by submission on 514 at 3 p.m. at the 160th District Court, Dallas, Texas. If you have per, uh, perfected service and no answer has been filed, you must have moved for or have proved up a default judgment on prior to the above date. Failure to do so prior to dismissal hearing will automatically result in the dismissal of the case at the above date, time, and place. If you've not perfected service for all parties prior to dismissal date, you must appear by submission for the dismissal hearing. During said hearing, you have the opportunity to show by way of verified motion good cause for maintaining the case on the docket. The court shall dismiss the want of prosecution unless there is showing of good cause. Now, we don't know why they have. Let's be clear here. They have filed for dismissal without prejudice. Okay, so what that means is without prejudice means it can be refiled. To give you an example, Michael Irvin's case, which was originally filed in Texas, they did that because it's a rocket docket. That way they knew that it would be heard quicker. But the case couldn't be tried in Dallas, uh, so they removed it without prejudice and they refiled it in arizona because that's where the incident happened but since this is something that happened in dallas county you can't see them withdrawing this to try and move it to someplace that wasn't where it happened you follow me now again this hasn't played out completely it'll be a hearing on it on 514 but as we go through they filed Notice of non-suit. And let me see if I've got that one. <laughs> to the Honorable Judge of said court, now comes plaintiff Victoria Shoals and moves to non-suit the above caption case number without prejudice. She removed it to non-suit. Now, here's the other possibility that could happen. We know that the police opened up an investigation in this. We don't know what said investigation has found, but they're investigating both things. And it may be that things that were said aren't lining up and they realize that they need to get out of this thing before it gets deeper. We will keep up with this, but shame, 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 shame on all the media that has not literally we focused in on who's going to replace Dak Prescott. The Dak Prescott is public enema number one. We've talked about 
uh, Geno Smith replacing him, Derek Carr and Kyler Murray and drafting Michael Penix and letting him walk or, you know, and just get trade him for this, that, and the other. But we trashed him. Excuse me. I didn't trash him. Y'all trashed him. And now it looks like you were wrong and none of you are saying jack about it. I'm Mark Holmes, and we'll be back in a couple of hours. I've got my main man, Game Time Brian, joining the show tonight at 9 o'clock Eastern, and I will see you there. Peace.